హాయ్ డేర్ వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఫోకల్ అకాడమీ సింధి ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఇయర్ వన్ సర్క్యూట్ క్యూఎన్ ఇన్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ రిజిస్టర్ కెపాసిటర్ ఇండక్టర్ బట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ సిరీస్ యాజ్ వెల్ ఆస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ప్యారల్ బట్ ఆస్కింగ్ దట్ హౌ టు ఫైన్ రిజన్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ క్వాలిటీ ఫ్యాక్టర్ అండ్ బ్యాండ్ విత్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ బట్ అబ్జర్వ్ కేర్ఫుల్ హియర్ దిస్ త్రీ కాంపోనెంట్స్ ఆర్ ఇన్ ప్యారల్ టు ఇచ్ అదర్ ఓన్లీ దిస్ ఎలిమెంట్ ఈస్ అవుట్ సైడ్ సపోజ్ ఇఫ్ యూ బ్రింగ్ దిస్ ఎలిమెంట్ ఇన్ ప్యారల్ so then we can replace these two resistors with equivalent resistance so then the circuit becomes parallel rl circuit so then we can easily find quality factor resonance frequency and bandwidth now how to bring this element into the parallel so for that we have one technique that is called as source transformation technique so let's we are going to apply this technique here in the first step what is source transformation technique so whenever voltage v with resistance or current in a series like this so this branch can be replaced with a current source with a resistor parallel so then the resistance is r only was taken and current is according to ohm's law v by r this is the current now replace these two elements with this current source and the resistance so then the circuit become like this keep these three elements as it is only these two elements was it with these two elements that is according to source transmission technique so in the place of voltage there is a current source so these three resistances will come in parallel so here current is so let us assume there is a voltage v here so v by r is 30 kilo ohms so this is 30 kilo ohms and the capacitance is 50 microfarad and inductance is 10 milli henry and this is 50 kilo ohms capacitors now replace these two components which are in parallel with equivalent resistance so that is 30 kilo ohms is parallel with a 50 kilo ohms so the equivalent resistance that is r equivalent equal to 18.75 kilo ohms so here i'm going to take only one resistor in the place of two resistor values so that is with equivalent resistance that is 18.75 kilo ohms now this circuit is in, in the parallel circuit parallel rl circuit now we can easily find resonant frequency quality factor and bandwidth first we are going to find the resonant frequency for the parallel rl circuit so for the parallel circuit the resonant frequency omega naught that is equivalent to 1 by root of lc so don't confuse some students are confused here there is no voltage given so now can you find the resonance frequency quality factor and bandwidth but actually these three parameters does not depend upon the source voltage or source current only these three parameters are depends upon the rl's values so resonance frequency omega naught equal to 1 by root lc now substitute the values here that is root of l means 10 milli henry 10 into milli means 10 power minus 3 into c means capacitor that is 50 microfarad that is 52 micro means 10 power minus 6 so by simplifying this we we'll get omega not equal to 447.21 radians per second next we are going to find bandwidth so bandwidth can be written as 1 by rc the r means equal resistance that is 1 by 18.75 kilo ohms into capacitance is 50 microfarad 15 into micro means 10 power minus 6. So by simplifying this, we'll get 1.067 radians per second. Next, quality factor. So quality factor nothing but the ratio of resident frequency to the bandwidth. That is omega naught by bandwidth. Now substitute these two values. That is 447.21 upon 1.067 so by simplifying this will get 419.13 so this is the quality factor this is the resonant frequency and this is the bandwidth for the given problem this is the process of simplification and thanks for watching please subscribe like share thanks